One day, Harvey was loading flatbeds at Brendam Docks, where the Fat Controller's new engine, Porter, was working. <laughs> Harvey had never met Porter before, and Porter had never seen a crane engine. Hey there! You're a really useful engine. Or should I say, you're a really useful crane. <laughs> I'm a crane engine, so uh, you can say either, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> then I suppose you must be doubly useful. Pleased to meet you. My name's Porter. A pleasure. My name's Harvey. Oh, look, Ben. It's Harvey. What's he doing down at the docks? He's probably trying to go fishing, Bill. <laughs> Better put your hook in the water, Harvey, if you want to catch something. <laughs> oh, they're always teasing like that. Don't mind them, Porter. I won't. <laughs> then there was trouble. Oh! Oh! Watch where you're going, Bumpy Boiler. <laughs> Bumpy Boiler! <laughs> Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Gator. Thomas nearly popped a piston when he realised who he'd seen. Gator? Yes, it's me. Just delivering some rock salt to the quarry. Does Percy know you're back? No, not yet. But please be sure to tell him when you see him. I will. See you later, Gator. <coughs> Bust my buffers. Gator's back. Wait till Percy hears the news. Thomas raced into the shunting yard and found Percy working hard, keeping the trucks in order. Look out, Thomas. What's the rush? Percy, you'll never guess who's back on soda or in time for Christmas. Who? <gasps> Is it Santa Claus? Gator! Gator? Really? My old friend? Yes! <whistles> This'll be the best Christmas ever. Well, um, where is he then? Oh, he had to make a delivery to the quarry. Thanks, Thomas. Maybe I'll make a delivery to the quarry too. But you don't have any trucks. What are you going to deliver? Me! <laughs> now, Scruff didn't mind looking scruffy. But some of the other engines couldn't understand how he could bear it. Dear, oh dear, such a messy engine. Oh, I'd hate to be that dirty. If I looked that scruffy, I'd stay in my shed. It doesn't bother me. Oh, I'm happy just the way I am. Right, let's get you trucks back to the waste dump and get scratching. At Knapford Station, Scruff saw the fat controller and stopped to say good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh, my! Scruff, your paint is peeling and you're starting to rust. Maybe I could just have the rust scraped off, sir. Oh, no, 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 that won't do at all. There's only one way to get rid of rust. You'll need to be repainted. Repainted? Scruff was horrified. He didn't even like being washed. And he was sure he wouldn't like being repainted. Something terrible must have happened. All the diesels have disappeared. I have to find them. I think we've taken this joke a little too far. Yeah. What he means is, Paxton was really worried. <laughs> Don't be such fussy buffers. It was a joke, that's all. And jokes are really funny. Paxton didn't think it was a joke at all. <sighs> Hello? Any diesels here? I'm a diesel. But Paxton didn't hear Rusty because he was already hurrying away. Oh, 
Have you seen any diesels, Thomas? Um, I can see you. Not me. The other diesels. They've disappeared. <laughs> Where's Salty? Is he missing too? Something is making all the diesels disappear. Look at that. Two minutes early. Good thing I hurried you, or you would have been late. That's not true. I always get my passengers to the station on time. <laughs> you must be slowing down, though, Thomas. Lately, I seem to beat you to the level crossing every time. I'm not slowing down. I'll show you. Let's race again. <whistles> Thomas and Bertie think racing is great fun. Sometimes Bertie is quicker. Especially when Thomas has to wait for sheep on the line. And sometimes Thomas is quicker. Especially when Bertie has to stop for workmen repairing the road. Slow down, Thomas. You'll burst a valve. You'll rattle an axle loose. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But lately, every time they have a race, no matter how fast Thomas puffs... Oh, no! Bertie manages to win. It was early morning and Thomas and his friends were just waking up when the fat controller came to see them. I want you all to be on your very best behaviour today. A VIP is coming to the island. What's a VIP? A VIP means a very important passenger, Percy. That's right, Thomas. And this VIP is a deputy minister who's presenting me with an award for <clears throat> services to transport. <laughs> Perhaps you would like me to collect this minister, sir? I'm sorry, Gordon, but Spencer is already bringing him. Spencer? Oh, I might have known. I'll have you there ahead of schedule, sir. I do know how important it is to be on time. Thank you, Spencer. Just keep your eyes on the tracks, please. Stop! Please! But the trucks were going too fast to stop now. No! Come back! Come back! <laughs> the entrance to the old mine had only recently been ah. reboarded up. Even that couldn't stop them. Percy slowed down when he saw the dark tunnel ahead. Hello? Anybody there? Percy knew that he should go in and bring back the trucks, but he didn't like the look of the mine. <gasps> Percy was scared. He didn't know what to do. He just had to stop and think for a moment. But of course, what he thought of was... <gasps> Gator. Being brave is not the same as not feeling scared. Being brave is about what you do, even when you do feel scared. Percy remembered what Gator had said to him, and he knew he could do it. He could be brave. Percy wondered if maybe he was an unlucky engine. At Marin Station, the fat controller had some strong words for Bill and Ben. Your careless work this morning has caused confusion and delay. To make sure no more crates fall off your trucks, one of you is going to have to push from the back. You can be the back engine, Ben. It was your careless driving that caused the crates to bounce off. What? No way! I'm not going at the back. <clears throat> a 
OK. At last, Percy arrived at Ulfstead Castle to deliver the mail. He mentioned his bad luck to Stephen. Bad luck? You've still got your four wheels and a full set of pistons. You should count yourself a very lucky engine. I know, but today I... You know, a lot of engines used to worry about being unlucky. Some would carry a lucky charm to bring them good luck. <laughs> I still have my lucky horseshoe. I could do with some good luck today. I tell you what, why don't I give you my lucky horseshoe? Thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much. Morning, Duncan. Isn't this great? It's busy and everyone's so happy. Well, it's all right for some. All these extra passengers are slowing me down. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Ah, humbug. <sighs> on we go, finally. As Duncan went on his way, Scarlowey felt all of his festive spirit fly out of his funnel. Oh, my. By the time Scarlowey arrived at the depot, he didn't feel very Christmassy at all. Duncan was complaining to me about the cold. And he told me there was no sand for our sandboxes. But there's plenty. He told me his passengers were slowing him down. Duncan seems determined to turn the holiday season into one big chore. I'm sure he'll cheer up when he sees the depot. Bah, humbug. All the snow and sand is turning into slush, and my wheels are wet and gritty. Connor was on the mainland, collecting passengers for Sodor. But there were too many people, and his coaches were full. Oh, no. The train's going without us. Don't worry, little boy. I'll be back. I promise. <whistles> There's still one more train before Christmas. <whistles> It was already late by the time Connor reached Knapford Station. Sir, if I can get some more coaches, then I can make one more run to the mainland and back, and everyone will be home for Christmas. You'll have to be quick, Connor. More heavy snow is on the way. Don't you worry, sir. I'm a very fast engine. <coughs> 